listen to hear analogy, which is the symbolism between whether someone has the tools and are more equipped for this process than someone who doesn't. And I was explaining that a wealthy person can get higher SAT scores, may have the legacy, and have the tools to make them succeed and do properly in an education. Whereas a poor person may not be able to spend as much on education and have the right tools for it. So I was simply saying that not all things are equal and affirmative action helps them become way more equal than what they would be if it wasn't there. Now, I would also like to put against some things that you said about minorities. Since minorities is just not about if I should repeat my definition, but I know that's uncalled for. I know minorities are not simply just what you seem and what you make them out to be, which is African Americans, which is what your entire thing has been about, either that or Hispanics. There's also more to be involved in the minorities, as I explained with the women, the Asians, any other religious group, and soon to be white Caucasian males. So, affirmative action would help all those people, and it's beneficial for everyone to be involved in this process. So there's no reason to get rid of it. There's absolutely no reason, reason for change. Your two states, Florida, majority white males, I don't think that's a very valid argument. And I also would say that there is no reverse discrimination for this because, once again, affirmative action does help everyone involved in more ways than just college admission process. There is also the entire field of diversity and connecting with different people of different groups and ethnicities that is truly beneficial for us all. And your Spike Lee quote, quote that we haven't arrived, that is true. I agree that we haven't arrived. But affirmative action gets us closer to where we should be. And as I've said, things may have changed. We may not be in the 60s anymore. But there still are problems in our country that involve through discrimination and the placement of minorities to majority. And with affirmative action, that makes that placement so much closer. And it lets all people be happy in our society. It lets them all give a fighting chance. And it helps us to all one day be equal.